Alright, I had to swap uh, the dryer. It was just pushing too much volume through the uh, torch dryer bubbler system. Um, it was pushing fluid out of it. So, I went and grabbed one of my ABS. Now, since I haven't used this piece of equipment in this way before, uh, I'm taking certain precautions. Yeah, it's going to look a little ridiculous, but, you know, you blow yourself up a few dozen times and you kind of don't want to do it anymore so forgive the uh, safety gear Make sure everything's sealed. That's why I got my relief over here off, so let's turn this closed. We've got output here. Close that. Now it's output to the engine. Engine's off so we don't blast it apart. Okay, we got positive pressure on the system. Engine off. Whoa! Woohoo! It's all smoke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, where'd the oil oh, filler I go? I saw a huge flame. No, the oil filler went over this way. Holy crap. Oh. Still rolling? Yeah. I'll have to go find the oil filler. It shot past me. From That's in here. That's a positive crankcase pressure, huh? Oh, yeah. Filled the uh, crankcase just a little bit too much before I switched over. Oh, let's pump some of it out. Sure, I don't have a fire in there. Sure, kind of looks that way. There. Oil all over the place. Man, where'd that oil filler go? Let's vent this out. And this. Well, 
Looks like I lost the uh, oil filler. It shot past me. I think it glanced off my side. See, that's why I was wearing what I was wearing. <laughs> if you're going to be that close to the proximity of what you're working with, you want some uh, kind of severe duty safety equipment. You don't want to take a brass fitting to the chest just in case something lets go. I'll go out in the street and see if I can't find the oil filler cap and uh, we'll continue it.